definitely the presence of social media plus a pandemic is a combination that's never been tried before. Uh, and, you know, nobody would have predicted that I and Dr. Fauci would be so prominent in, you know, really kind of evil theories about, you know, did we create the pandemic? Are we trying to profit from it? And on and on. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm very surprised by that. I hope it goes away. I hope it doesn't hold back, you know, mask wearing or seeking out vaccines. This percentage that's really misled by these conspiracy theories, it's unclear to me. There's millions of messages out there, you know, where my name or Dr. Fauci's name is used, but do people really believe that stuff? I'm, you know, we're gonna have to get educated about this over the next year and understand, you know, what, how does it change people's behavior? How should we have minimized this either you know, working with the social media companies or explaining what we were up to in a better way. So this last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there were court hearings and we were challenging um, the uh, Bonnie um, against the vaccine mandates for the healthcare workers in BC. Um, you know, from the foundation's point of view, the fact that he took that rescission of the global vaccine money, which, uh, you know, is super, super important. The fact he rejoined the WHO, the fact that he's appointed smart people, the fact that Dr. Fauci uh, will, will not be uh, suppressed, uh, and they'll take full advantage of Francis Collins and, and Dr. Fauci, who are wonderful people. What do we want? Freedom! 